Okay, so today um, Elizabeth and Leo are going to be working on problem number 27. Problem number 27 involves unit rates. Okay, the word unit rate or the words unit rate specify a rate that involves something by one. Okay, so for example, um, a unit rate would be if I have to pay for uh, four avocados per one dollar. Okay, that is a unit rate because it's for one dollar. So anytime it says for one, like one pound, one dollar, um, one mile, things like that, those are called unit rates. In this case, uh, the scenario gives you a, um, an amount of distance in a week and you have to figure out how much is it per one day. So, I don't want to say that the word per means divide because you could also use it in multiplication, but it definitely gives you an option of either multiplying or dividing. You got to make sense of the problem. If I give you a problem that has um, so much quantity and I'm asking you how much is it per each, the value of the answer should be smaller, right? Because um, you're trying to find out how much would it be each day so that the entire problem adds up to the whole week. So again, that's just another way to, um, to make sense of the problem, so to speak. Okay, so without further ado, here's Leo and Lisbon. Okay, so the problem reads, Samantha ran a total of 16.8 miles last week. Monday through Saturday. If she ran the same distance each day, how far did she run on Saturday? So well, we're trying to figure out how much she ran, how many miles she ran every day. So we're going to count how much the, how much it's Monday through Saturday since it's six. We divide six by sixteen point. Okay, um, again, they use the same idea of division. This represents the amount of days you're looking at. And why did you divide by six again, Leo? Because there's six days on Monday through Saturday. Because there's six days Monday through Saturday. Now, had he not read that carefully, he could have said, oh, a week divided by seven. Okay, so that's where... Uh, I think a lot of my students missed it because I, I saw that some of them divided by seven. I guarantee you, and I'm going to try this out real quick. I guarantee you, if they divide that number by seven, the answer is going to be there. Okay? And because when they, people develop tests like this, they have that understanding. Okay, kids are going to make this mistake, so let's, let, let's throw it in there to see if they really understand or really read the problem. So I guarantee you, if they were to divide it, uh, so go ahead and divide 7, and I, I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be there. I've never tried it, like I said, this is just an experiment to see if the answer would be there. Oh. But if I was writing this test, I would definitely do that as well. So just uh, really quickly, I know this is not part of the example, but again, it develops your understanding of the situation. Okay. Oh, see, there you go. I had never tried it, and I promise I had never tried it. But I know that if you don't read this problem carefully and you say, oh, it says a week, I'm going to divide by seven, get my answer, and you'll leave the test getting your answer being there, but that doesn't mean it's the correct answer. Okay, so again, read the problem carefully. Um, Leo and Elizabeth did a very good job. They identified it, but as I was watching them do it, I, I kind of thought to myself. Okay, so thank you. If you have any questions, email me.